Hey everyone, it's Sasha. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing this amazing six piece rainbow stamping collection from Twinkle Tea. And not only is it a stamping polish, you can actually use it as a regular polish as well. So if you'd like to see what I got and how these colors work, keep on watching. <laughs> So the first polish that I'm gonna share with you is called Bothered by Twinkle Tea and this is a hot pink. So I did share a few stamping polishes from Twinkle Tea with you some time back. I have a picture of the thumbnail in the corner where you can look at that video. That was one of the first stamping polishes that I had shared with you guys. This one is their rainbow stamping polish bundle but upon looking on their website it doesn't look like it's in stock but i will definitely check to make sure if the colors are still available to be purchased individually and just like the previous collection this one does consist of six stamping polishes that can also be used as regular polishes as well please disregard my stamping plate i had used it and i didn't get a chance to clean it off so yeah don't come for me okay i know it needs cleaning it's fine i'll just get some acetone and clean that and here is bothered over black or white and as usual with the stamping polish reviews i am going to go ahead and show it to you over an already prepped swatch stick that has painted in half black half white and because I prefer to stamp on a matte surface, I went in with matte top coat. So I did go ahead off camera and just add um, added a little bit more to the bottom. As you can see, because the image is not long enough for the nails that I'm reviewing uh, the stamping polishes on for you guys. So that's okay. But Bothered is a very gorgeous pink. It looks really nice over both black and white. And it gives you an idea of like how it would look over... Um, both light and darker colors it's really pigmented and i do like that as well and here is one coat of bothered as you can see it is so opaque and it's actually a really gorgeous pink my camera is picking it up a bit lighter it is just a shade darker than what it is showing on camera but again this is such a nice pink. it's almost similar to this pink that i'm wearing on my nails but yes, one coat coverage, very, very gorgeous color. So I'm just going to let this sit and dry. And here we have Bothered against my skin tone. So as you can see, it is very, very opaque. I can't even see the design that's on my nail. So the second polish I have to share with you is called Fry Yay. And it is a beautiful light blue. Sorry guys, I had to put on a glove because I, I clean my stamping plates with acetone, so my hands are drying out. <laughs> so of course, I was like, duh, put on a glove. So yeah, here I am. So here we have Frye stamped over black and white. Not sure if it is showing. It is very, very light over the white. Maybe I'll just turn off one of my lights. Okay, so you can kind of see it over the white here but it definitely would show better over a darker color. And here it's Frye with the first coat. As with most light colors, you can see that there is some sparseness within the application. So this is the first coat. I would definitely go in with the second one. Here is Frye against my skin tone. Such a lovely light blue color. I love blues. Blues and purples. In, well, purples and blues since purple's my favorite. <laughs> but I love purples and blues and this sky blue is really really nice as you can see as well very opaque good coverage it was very smooth with the application 
and you can't see the design under my nail which is perfect so next up is the purple of course i'm biased my favorite color like this was also one of the main reasons i remember when i got when i saw this collection i ordered it was because i was like oh the purple <laughs> so this one is called goals And here is a fully stamped stiletto tip of goals over white and black. So unlike um, Frye, this shows over the white a lot better and obviously shows very nicely over the black as well. And the they actually pick up the images pretty nice. They don't have any complaints. But it's just that, of course, it's um, a regular nail polish. So like you kind of have to move quickly with these ones, I find. Guys this color is so gorgeous again my camera is picking this up brighter than it is it is more of a darker purple but as you can see there's still some sheerness you can see in the swatch stick when i swatched it underneath here so i am definitely gonna go in again and put in a second coat i feel by the second coat it will be a bit more opaque and here is my favorite because you know purple <laughs> this is goals with two coats very opaque and just as the others you have no way of seeing my nail design under this color next up we have this gorgeous neon green and this one is called no filter i actually have used this in a video i use this for stamping for my nightmare before christmas nails you should go check out that video if you haven't okay and we're back with no filter over black and white please do keep it in mind that i'm showing you guys this without top coat i will go in and put top coat so you guys can see what it will look like as a final result but again just like the um the light blue the green, neon green is showing fantastic over dark colors so obviously darker colors it will be more vibrant but it almost is like it wants to get lost on the white and I'm sure it has to do with my lighting. So let's see here. Okay, there. You can see it over the white, but it is like blinding. <laughs> it is super, super bright. This neon is tripping on my camera. One sec. Okay, here is more of what it is like true to life. Yeah, my lighting is like killing this color, but it is super, super gorgeous. I missed a little spot there it actually could you could very well get away with one coat with this i am just gonna go in with a second coat just because majority of them i had to do but this is really beautiful this is no filter against my skin tone my camera is muting it down it's really more vibrant than it is coming across but it is such a stunning green up next we have this orange and this is called a saucy this more looks like mm, you know like a sunflower orange although it's more of a sunflower yellow but you get what i mean though <laughs> saucy over white and black and as you can tell obviously over the black it's extremely pigmented but you can really see it over the white too like it's not too too vibrant where like maybe my lighting is kind of fading it out this is a really nice orange orangey yellow like a golden -y color and here we have saucy with two coats against my skin tone so even with it against my skin tone, remember I said I'm not really a big fan of yellows like that. I would definitely wear this one. This is a yellow that I feel would go really nice with my skin tone. And the last stamping polish I will be sharing with you is called Subtweet. And it is this very, very pretty neon yellow. And 
here is subtweet over black and white as you can see it is very very neon it gives off like a really vibrant yellow over the black and it's still very nice it's very bright over the yellow but not as like neony looking compared to the black and here is subtweet in one coat of course like any yellow it's you it was a bit streaky but again that's expected with yellow polishes it's a very very nice yellow it can be used as a great pick-me-up in the winter months and it's really nice for spring and summer i am gonna go in with a second coat and lastly we have subtweet against my skin tone this is a very vibrant yellow two coats you know what i'd probably even wear this one and that's saying that is saying a lot because i really don't lean towards yellow but this one and saucy very very nice and here we have it for the Twinkle Tea Rainbow Stamping Collection. So as I had mentioned earlier in the video, I don't think it's being sold as an entire collection, but I will make sure if they are being sold individually that I link each individual stamping polish slash polish down below for you guys. So let me know what did you guys think? Have you ever tried Twinkle Tea before? They don't only sell nail polish, they actually sell a wide range of different nail art items and products. I will say that I don't have any complaints in regards to the polishes. Everything was very nice. It has a really great smooth formula, great coverage, builds nicely majority of them needed two coats the one i will say that you could very well easily get away without having to use two coats would be this one which is bothered i just did two coats because i did two coats with the rest of them but you could very easily you just use one coat with bothered as always guys thank you so much for tuning into my channel if you're new here welcome and if you're not and you've just been sticking around with me i greatly do appreciate it as always guys make sure you do give this video a thumbs up subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I do post more content. If you know anyone that would be interested in this video, go on ahead and give it a share. And until next time, stay glamorous. Bye!